So Excel builds a lot of boats. We build bass boats, catfish, crappie boats, duck hunting boats is where we started. But I live in the West, I'm the owner, and the factories are in Tennessee and Arkansas, but this is the kind of boats we use on the Pacific coast, up to Alaska for, for sure. fishing yeah. offshore. But also we use them on big impoundment lakes, like Kentucky Lake over here. So this sort of boat obviously has got a really heavy duty hull. I think our engineer explained to you it's got a quarter inch bottom yeah, on yeah, the inside. All the we have a 3 8 keel and um, uh, the bow eye is 3 8 with the eighth inch number plates on each side, making it a 5 8 thick overall. Um, a couple of the parts, the windshield and the, the dashboards are 125. Um, we have no 0.100 gauge or lower on this boat. It's all 125 and up. Uh, the tread plate is 0.125 with about 16th inch treads, so it's almost 3 16 overall. The um, the live well lid and, and some of the other pieces on the boat are, are made out of the tread plate. The sides of the boat and the substructure of the boat and the floors and the gunnels are all 0.160, um, which is what our entire bay boat holes are made out of. And the side plates of the hole are made out of that. And the bottom of the boat is quarter inch, 5086. All welded boat and it's got 35 inch sides, but by virtue of that, what we have to do on a boat like this is we call it, we have a, they're called a gill bracket or they're called a offshore bracket and we mount the motor on the outside of the boat because they don't make them long enough for this kind right. of transom. Yep. Um, and, and it's a nice deck to step on, obviously got a boarding ladder, but what's important is this hull is an 18 degree hull. And when you're offshore and you're dealing with big water, there's a safety factor and there's a comfort factor. And an 18 degree hull on this boat is a variable dead rise. So as it goes toward the front, it gets steeper and steeper. Where it enters the water is 24 degrees, wow. and the bow up in front that takes the waves is 40 degree angle. Slices through the water. And then obviously when you hit larger waves and things, as opposed to the slapping you get with other boats, even with a 15 degree, yeah. boats you'd see in a lot of the Midwest boats, won't name the brands, but that's what's always built. Yep. But when you go on a class of boats, you move up then to a boat that has a, a, a higher side with a splash well or an offshore bracket that's lower. But when you get to the really big boats, they'll always have this offshore bracket with tall sides. And then this boat cuts through water and it's stable. It's 102 inches wide. This is a 21 foot boat, the smallest we make. We'll make a 23 and a 25. We can get them with a soft top on them. Hard windshields, walk through windshields. But what I did with this boat, for the Midwestern fishermen, is if you buy this boat from one of the companies that, that are built out west, the windshield is fairly well forward because we only need the front deck to drop an anchor. Right. So I moved the front, the window back a foot, kept the high sides of an offshore boat, put a pedestal seat up front, a butt seat, control the motor, you put your fish finders up there, so you, it's got a place for all your storage boxes, uh, plano boxes, dry storage in the front, plus your anchor walker, so you can work the front now for multiple species. Your, your crappie, yeah. your, your, for walleye fishing too. For sure. For bass yeah. fishing. I'm from Minnesota, so walleye exactly. is huge up there. Yeah. And I'm, I was born and raised, I live out west, yeah. I was born and raised in northern Michigan, I'm a Uper. Oh yeah, Fished, yeah. fished Lake Superior. Yeah. All this oh, is a perfect a, Lake Superior. Exactly. Boat. Yeah. So when I got let out of the army, I was drafted into the Vietnam War. Fast, last assignment was Fort Carson, I stayed out west. But I'm a Pacific Northwest fisherman. Offshore salmon, die hard. This is the only boat to own. Great. Oh, on the yeah. on the Great Lakes, very it handles big water. It's a safe, safe boat. And then on this particular boat right here, then I move that back. Then I got a hold of. How you doing? I got a hold of Steve Douglas. I think how Steve Douglas who runs his show is a friend of mine. He said, Glenn, I want you to. If you're building this boat, I want you to make it for catfishing. He went, what do you need? He said, I need an 80 gallon live well. And I said, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> so we designed it with a 100 gallon live well. And it basically runs with 80 gallons. So it's got this huge live well in the back of the boat. And so my concern was, you get four guys in here in a big live well, is this thing going to run right. with, our, with a 21 foot? Yep. I flew out here when it was done last week. One of the engineers, they asked me on a dock, they said, what do you think this will run? I said, I'm concerned about that 700 pounds in the back of the boat. But if we could run this dry, 
46, 48, it will run with every other boat that I run in the West, 21 footer, 58 miles an hour. I, I've never seen it. He, the way he designed this hull, it's got lifting really strakes cool. on the bottom, reverse drive. I, when we designed the boat, I said, you got to put trim tabs on it. Yep. I said, when you got a 102 inch boat with that water in the back and this offshore boat, they'll do a lot of listing with uneven weights. We never touched the trim tabs. Trip tabs are now an option on this boat. You don't need them. Coming out of the hole, fill that up with 700 gallons, four big guys, 1,000 pounds, out of the hole in 35 feet, 54 miles an hour with all that weight. That's a, that was a half a tank of gas. This holds 70 gallons of gas, about 35 gallons of gas. So it was an amazing boat with this 300 what Yamaha. Is, what is the max? Is it 300? The max rating for the horsepower? 300. 300? Yeah. Okay. For 21. Yeah. 400 for the 23 and up. You put twin up to 500 on the 25. Was there any thoughts about maybe putting like a jet on here, like an indoor jet or anything? Not yet. No? Okay. We have jets out west. Right. Yeah. This, I built this boat for the Midwest. It will eventually go to the West Coast yep. because it's obviously got a better price point than most of my friends that build these boats, but this year it'll be a little better price as entry. Yeah. We've got a little over 100 dealers that sell. Then I'll try to get up in the Great Lakes, the East Coast, all and these guys with these big reservoirs and lakes here, they're loving this boat. Right. You don't get kicked off the water. Right. I mean, obviously you can't have a perfect boat for all conditions, you know, but I think a jet might be a nice option for some of the guys trying to go a little shallower or rocky water, you know, out west, they go through the but rocky Here's water. what happens you when give you, up the, you give up the live well, though, probably. So. You could still, well, you would, but yeah. maybe not, because it's suspended. Right. So this boat normally built would have a transom that's half as deep as this and would have a little door on the back. You step on it, you walk through a door as an option. 30, 40 gallon, uh, a kill box, we call them. And we fish for a lot of salmon. Great Lakes buys, Lake Great Lakes version of this boat, which is gonna be called the Buoy 10. It will have a smaller transom in the back. It'll, they'll all have the hot water sink. We take the motor, the kicker motor, we tap into the cooling system. We have a sink in the back that's 140 degrees all the time. That's awesome. And every boat will come with one of those. This boat is basically loaded. I've, I've, I designed the boat as the standard features of what dealers normally order in the boat. And it's got a good price point. So this boat, right, to me is my ultimate boat, big water boat, Great Lakes, big water. Cat fishermen will love it because it's the only boat built with this live well in it, a Northwest style boat Great. with a bigger front deck. All right, here's the inside of this, uh, what are we calling this, Storm Cat. Deep V. Holy cow, it's got some tall sides. What size live well is that? 100 gallons. 100 gallons. Woo! Look at that thing. Warm water, uh, warm water wash down station right here. Yep. Uh, battery storage on each side, easy to access your pumps. It's oh, got this six uh, batteries back here. What is this called? This on the floor here? This is so, uh, it's it's like a line X liner, like the coating. Yep. Just a non-skid. Holds three more batteries on that side. Lots of room for activities. <laughs> Seven seventy gallon fuel tank. Wow. Uh, Very holds cool. Ten, ten rod storage box right here. For the sake of time, we didn't get the tubes in this one in time, but it'll hold 10 eight-foot rods. Is 10 enough? <laughs> <laughs> Storage then you got each air ride seat. Oh, you got the air rides, too. Put your trolling motor batteries in. Oh, all of them are carpeted and lit. Very nice. Are these uh, actual air ride seats? Are they spring assist, or do you know who makes these? They're very comfortable. At this point, I'd be lying to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're. Uh... But yeah, you just dial in your weight, and it, it adjusts accordingly. Oh yeah, that's my friend's got a seat just like that. Yeah. It goes up back and forth. The next model on the next boat, they will actually swivel 360. Oh, these ones degrees. don't swivel. These don't. But okay. From now on, they'll have a 360 yep. degree option to spin on them. Yeah, for a catfish lever. boat, I think you kind of need that if you're fishing behind the boat here. So. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and, and these chairs are option as well. So you can right. get it with or without these back, back two chairs. 
big old deck up there. Very nice. Those, uh, 10 3800 Plano boxes on the left side. I'll open that for you. You can see that. Yeah. Big storage on this side and an anchor storage up front. Almost enough boat. <laughs> <laughs> and the best part is you can get it for under 100 grand, right? That's right. That's right. <laughs>